Okay, I'm trying it again. So far, so good. I'll try bringing the chat up. I can still see the OBS stream data. So far, it's green. Okay. So the other day I was printing the bracket and uh, messed it up. And I've gone through a couple more revisions. So I'm back in Fusion 360. I moved this big hole over two millimeters. Um, we've thickened up this base. We've offset where the extruder mount or the stepper motor is and biggened the hole. That's a, that's a term. Um, next thing I want to do is I'm using this little fan for the um, part cooling. And I'm going to mount it on a bracket so I have to extend that piece down thirty two millimeters. So I'm just looking at the bracket or the hot end assembly with the fan. Let's say we put it at a forty five like so. And we're gonna have a Duct system that comes down and blows an air blade that blows right at the fan or right at the nozzle. Ideally, I want this to be as low as possible. But I think I only have to extend this out probably about 10 millimeters and down by 10 millimeters. So we'll do that. Draw that in here in just a minute. Let me take off. That big chamfer can stay. This can go. And those can go right now. Let's go back to the first sketch. We're going to draw another rectangle. That's something like that. It's going to be 31 by 10. say okay stop the sketch there let's go turn on the sketches and that block as the fan is uh, 40 millimeters wide. Oops. And the center of 
that is 24, so I'm going to make that 50 millimeters wide. So we're going to do an extrude here, 50. And that is just the mount. I may have to modify that a little bit. That's just the mount where the fan is going to hang off of the duct and everything. Sorry, I'm having a uh, carrot cake Oreo. And some water. All right, so I think that's worth uh, saving and printing as a as a test. We'll export that. Let's go into the mods area. Sure, there needs to be a couple holes in there, but either I'll drill them or we'll uh, modify them. I should probably mock up an E3D V6 in there with a Bontec extruder on it. And if I was good, I would... I wonder if Bontec has a Fusion 360 drawing of their uh, uh, extruder in FE3D. Well, let's go. let's go look, shall we? Fire up a new Google Chrome. This ought to, if this doesn't break the internet, I don't know what. Let's go to Bond Tech. Come on. Oh, it may be, may be slow. <sighs> Let's see. Products. Oh yeah. Whoops. I didn't get it. Yeah. Sure. We'll allow. We'll allow with those. Let's see what their freebies are. I don't have any freebies. Mounts, CAD, ex CAD? You got any CAD? Oh well. Cad for bolt holes? Anything? No. All right, let's go back to Google and go to E3D. E3D. Let's go to hot ends. Nozzles, hot ends, V6 parts, and arrows. Bundles. Do we have any CAD? 
Well, let's go to the E3D, or I mean the V6. Uh, parts and let's see if we got there's a heat sink there's a drawing of a heat sink Hmm. Well, the other way would, to do it would be go back into Fusion. I'm not seeing it on here real quickly. Let's go back into Fusion. Let's see what we can find. I know there's a way to search on Fusion 360. If anybody's, nobody's in the chat, so if anybody's in the chat, they can pipe up. Well, poops. Let's, let's go back to Google again. E three D V six Well let's see if we can get that. Open, download the model. Let's open it. I'm already in. Oh dear Lord. Yes, they gotta send me a thing. All right. He took me to a new page. Let's say opening. I come, look at that. Alright, so we got the E3 DV6. In our thing. Let's go back to the Google page. Thank you. Thank you, Fusion360. That was awesome. Let's put that in there. Let's go... Fusion on Tech BMG. Mm -hmm. oh, grab CAD. Grab CAD. Well, let's see what Grab CAD has. I 
that's a volcano, and that's a thing of Let's see what this one looks like. That is not a bond tech. Let's go back. That's a bond tech, but hmm. Well, let's see what the rail core has to offer. Uh, that's a mosquito. That's just the mount. I don't want the mount. I want the CAD so I can... Well, let's go see what this thing averse thing is. There's a bond tech. Mm. Pictures. Got pictures. No model of the Bond Tech in there. Well, that's not what we want either. back to grab cat but that's that same same thing and that is not Bontek lever doesn't have the E3D mount on it it's horrible okay Let's see, Yegi. See what Yegi has to say. Prusa Bear. That's the bond tech for the Prusa. Which I suppose would be the same thing. Let's see what it looks like. That's a 3D. Okay. Do they have a link? No. No. Well, that's kind of foopy. All right. Well, since we're not getting any help out of that, I guess we'll go back to Fusion. Look at this. At least this has given me the model of this. Let's save this in. That yeah, we're in printer upgrades. Let's 
save that. So at least I got a copy of that. And then I can go over to here and plop this in here. See how let's take it apart and see how much it sticks up above my base plate. So boop -de boop. Thirteen point three millimeters. So 13, let's put that at minus 50, and that, that will be close enough. I'll we'll have to move it over a smidge. Get it from the top view. Right about there. I'd say that's where it goes. And that'll be close enough for us to model a, a fan duct. Unfortunately, I put it in the bottom of this. I should have moved it up here. I don't know if you can do that. No, nope. well, maybe. I think if you go here, and then I go here. Nope. Okay, well, it's stuck there now. This is what I mean about it. I'm not very good at pre-planning what the heck I want to do, and... Sometimes I get confused. So I've already made for my Zone Star, uh, I made a duct. That's the extruder. Let me open this guy up. So there's fan guard and there's a duct. I hide the ducts. The duct is right there. So that's the mount and there's my duct. And I'm thinking about doing the same sort of a thing for this one. So it has got two ears with slots so that the fan mounts out here and you can uh, uh, adjust the angle and the height of it. And so that would mount uh, just on the on that block that we put down. Um, walls may need a little bit of reworking but they're okay so it basically splits up uh, the fan output into thirds so a third of it or a little more maybe uh, goes directly on the nozzle right through the center channel and this this design so it's just got a slit 
that's down below and it blows across but you can aim that wherever you want and even though it's only from one side it works pretty doggone good so may use something like this for the other design let me s just open this sketch How did I do this without no dimensions on it? Uh, because I use projection on everything. It's got dimensions there. Yeah, I just projected everything from one to the next. Well, that's okay. We'll uh, we'll figure it out. Anyway, that's the way the, the zone star is. And uh, that's my own drawing of a nozzle because it's it's still there. Uh, no, that's a E3D uh, Cyclops that I've got on that one. So it's just kind of block, blocked in there. But we'll do the same, si same type of uh, a fan shroud mount on the other one okay we can close that guy and we don't need this guy open anymore so while we're at it here now where do we want to put this thing hmm Well, I'm thinking, choose that face. Let's make a new component up here. Create new component. Fan duct. And we can pick that face. And say sketch, great sketch. And so basically, we're going to do just a bunch of lines for right now. So I want a line from there. Oh. Let's go out there. Now, of course, I'm going to have the heat block on the back side. So not really worried about that let's come up here like so and something like that now that's running into the heat block but that's okay I'll figure that out. Okay, that gives us kind of our side profile. Yeah. So let's stop the sketch. Let's take that. Let's extrude it. Oh two millimeters that way okay and let's turn that sketch back on and we're going to extrude uh, 52 Okay, so now you got the body of the, the fan duct. So let's pick this surface right here and we'll do a new sketch. 
And we're going to draw a 40 millimeter fan. Yeah, because it's 40 millimeters. The opening is probably not quite 40. So 38. Yep. 40 millimeter fan. And. 32 million, 32 and a half maybe between centers. Yeah, 32. 32 between centers and they're three millimeter holes. 3.5 clearance for a 3. All right. So, we're going to draw a rectangle or a square. Oops. Try that again. Oops. Forty, forty, and we'd like it to be as close as we can get it to there. Dimension this line. Oh shoot! Why is it not? There we go. Um, well, let's undo that. Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Make that nine. Let's make that a vertical just for right now. dimension two. That works. That works better. Okay. Okay. Hey, Rover. I'm drawing again. Okay, so now we're into the second sketch. Let's grab this, and move it in. Right there. And I want to 
do this. Uh, trying to use my other commands for so used to working in Mastercam. Okay, let's dimension from here. the midpoint? Can I find the midpoint? No. So let's see, that's 54 across there, so 54. So let's dimension from here to here is 54 divided by 2. Minus 20. There we go. Now it's centered. That should be centered, right? Huh? And let's dimension from that corner to that corner this way. Oh boy. That way as one millimeter. There we go. Now that's <laughs> yeah, we didn't I didn't need to half of 54. I needed to figure out what the midpoint and how far from the edge we wanted it. But thanks. All right, now let's draw our circle, which is here and it's 38. We'll enter it and dimension from We'll stick with that corner to there. No. That's 20. And from that corner to this way is 20. All right. So that's where our fan goes in. Let's see about it. Need to go back to that first sketch and, and shorten that up. So we got, oh, I see. Yeah. Stop that sketch. Our extrusion here. Oops. Sorry. Our extrusion there. We want to do that. And our extrusion there. We want to do that. Don't actually want to do that, but we'll go back and modify it later. I'll just make that look like a solid block coming across. Oops. Even though we're actually going to cut it out. Okay. Uh, go back to the starting of this, and let's take these two and move that. Uh, no, come on. Why are you not moving? It's got a it's got a constraint, I see. Let's get rid of that. Delete that. And now, oh, 
I see. Okay, come on. There we go. Delete that projection. Okay. So now I can take Still move that. No. Okay. Delete that. Okay, that one I can move. That's okay. And this one now I can move. All right. Cool. But. Let's delete that constraint on that. So now I can move that down. And let's dimension between these two. Yeah. One millimeter is fine. Let's make those per uh, vertical to each other. Come on. There we go. And yeah, if that block is swung around towards the back, then it should be, we should be clearing that. We're not actually going to go that far underneath there. So I need to move those. Oh, probably back. Let's draw a line here from this oh, what is it? Tab one eight. that escape make that a reference just a construction line okay so we're now we're we're making sure we're above the the bottom of the nozzle just by a a smidge we're gonna draw a line between these two guys there we go we're getting we're kind of getting there Up that sketch. Oh, no, I don't want to stop that sketch. Let's go back into that sketch. So, what we want is we want to offset. Uh, that by eh, a millimeter sounds good mm -hmm. and let's see My other, my other, my Zone Star one that I had printed differently. So I had it so that I could print it with no supports. Well, we can do that again. But I gotta change this so that we get a slit out here. So let's make this three millimeters. There we go. 
And we can take this and delete that and extend that and that. Yeah. Okay. So let's make our first extrude is that wall. Say OK. Our second extrude is that same thing, but it's offset uh, minus 50. Minus 50. And it's minus 2. That didn't do it. Offset plane. Minus 50. Minus 2. Okay. No, I did this wrong. Profile plane. This one's two. There we go. Okay, now we got the two sides. Okay, now a third one. Let's roll this back. The third extrude is. Just that outer shell. I want that. Uh, how do I get that other part? That. And. Hmm. Okay. Hey there. I bet. So we got all that part. Why didn't that other part go? It's a wart. Oh. So did they freeze it? No, he said that's not going to work. So he told me to get some uh, salicylic acid. Okay. And uh, it comes in pads. You can get it in the like the foot care section. Yep. So I went that's and got that. That's with the corn pads. And uh, some moleskin oh, yeah. to put on it. He said, but really? Duct tape works. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's cheaper and it holds better. Okay. Let's get a thin piece of uh, duct tape over it. Said, well, that'll be good for work. So, because I'm in uh, alcohol and Windex all day, and he's like, ooh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He also said you have to put this on for a couple days, then uh, scrape it. Yeah. He gave me some surgical blades. But I think I'm going to have to have you maybe help me with that as this is on my right hand and I am not left handed. Okay. Well, that's no problem. All right. Uh, See, and since it's a wart, I said, yeah, it's a virus thing. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And it's going to go away and maybe come back and blah, blah, blah. And he's like, yeah, you know doctors speak really well. <laughs> yeah, and blah, blah, blah. Uh oh. What the heck? So why is that not uh, Can't hear you. nothing? I'm just muttering to myself. Oh, that's because that did not connect. Okay. Okie dokie. So then we got to go back to this one. Wait, 
when he told me it was a word, I started laughing. He says, well, it's so funny. And I said, my sister was convinced this was cancer. And I told him, no, it's not. Yeah, no, it's not. He says, well, what school did she go to? I said, well, obviously not doctor school. She went to business college. He says, well, there you go. Oh, my sketch is upside down. Okay, so we've got two walls. So I need to block that so I'm not extruding that all the way across. So let's go back to this sketch, which, holy crap. So we saw the huge memorial for the fucking... Yay. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, for the gang, the guy that got shot. Are you talking to me or your camera people? Yeah, my camera people. So just watch your language. Okay, so sorry about that. Okay. Here we go. All right. So, yeah, much fiddling later. Um, Okay, so we got that there, and let's move this out. Let's go to here, and we need 32, there are three and a half millimeter holes on 32 millimeter spacing. Okay, let's draw some circles.
dimension. Dimension from here. And then we make this. Whoops. Get out of dimension mode. This and this horizontal to each other. And this and this vertical. This and this vertical. Okay. Now that's a clearance hole for three millimeter. So we want this actually be. Oh, come on. 2.8 is the size we want. And now we're done with that sketch. Let's extrude that with that and all of these. To cut through. But you see we got this problem out there. Okay, so we got to go back to the first sketch. Boop, boop, boop. Let's make a line from here. Okay, let's dimension that by three. Let's make a line from there to there. Delete that. Delete that. Offset that. Offset that. Extend that. And we're going to trim now. Trim this to that. Whoops. Trim this. All right. Okay, so now we've got a little plenum in there. Let's do a new sketch. Let's draw a line from the center of that circle out. And let's take that and sketch a circular pattern. Okay, and then we're going to line from here to there. And we're going to 
center line from intersection of there. Out to there. Whoops. Get rid of that. Let's trim that and that. Offset that by one. Should have made these half. Should have made those halves. Let's go back. Those all hidden lines. in there. Let's extend this to that and that to that. This to that and that to that. Okay, we'll make these guys. Hit the wrong key. Now let's trim. Oops. Trim. Trim all of this. Can't stop yet. We're going to do a line. Then we want to extend Okay, so 
that gives us these two and this one channel that goes all the way out. Let's stop that sketch. All right. Oh, nope. I've forgotten one more line. Jeez. Let's do a line from here to there. Trim that and that. Okay. Now we can stop it. Now, if we extrude, can do it. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Do intersect? No. Let's go new body. I'll figure out how to trim it up later. But anyway, that gives you your veins. And I gotta do that from offset plane. sits down like that. Okay. I know it looks funky. But it'll work. I'll have to trim all this off. And trim that off. That's a duck. Now I need a slot and a couple holes in the body to mount it. Let's do a line. Mention that. going to be a three millimeter slot so let's go oops there OK. 
Okay. Sketch, we'll do a fillet. Let's make this a line from there to there. <sighs> this bothers me, but not enough to worry about it. Let's stop our sketch. Let's see what we got. Okay, so that's the walls. This is the Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. I got that done ish. I think. that and then this one there we go so now you got that part and that's gonna be too thin That's that one. Thank you. 
Well, I'm having a hard time picking just the line I want. Uh, okay. Hey, day, day. Let's get rid of this. Okay, this is the slot.